One way to adjust color and brightness inside of Pixlr E is by using curves. And to do that, I'm going to go around into adjustment and over here you can see curves is an option. And once you open up the curve, you can see that there's a straight line. The line on the bottom refers to the ones, uh, the dark areas right here. So if I were to uh, click around over here, uh, double click, you can see that I can add in a point. I can add in another point. And if I were to decrease and increase this, you can see that as I go around, decrease the point right here, the dark becomes darker. And as I increase the point right here, the um, dark becomes a bit brighter, as you can see right here. So now everything tries to adjust itself according to what I do. So I can just add in points to hold them in place. So I can increase the dark right here. You can see that I can work around and work around with the dots right here. The ones above are the bright areas. So I can increase and decrease the brightness as you can see. So I can get more detail of the sun as I decrease the bright areas as you can see. And these are the midtones on the center. So it can be very precise with how it actually looks. You can see the before and after right here. You can also work around with individual color channel um, brightnesses. So I'm just going to go around, add in a few points right here. Let's say, for example, according to how much I want. And to remove it, uh, you can just go around and then uh, go around right, right here. So I'm just going to go around. It says double click to add or remove a control point. So let's just double click and you can remove the point as well. You can increase and decrease the points to add in, let's say, for example, a bit of red color on the shadows and so forth as well. So let's say I want to add in some greens on the highlights. I can simply select this, increase up the greens on the highlights and on the blues, I'm going to go around and increase the blues on the highlights as well. And that is how it works. And once you press apply, this is how it actually looks. You can go around into uh, right here, here, for example, open and you go, go around onto curves as you can see right here. This is the before and this is the after. And that is how you can work around with the curves inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.